This is La Banquise. It is the home of the best poutine in the world right here in Montreal. Forrest Griffin, Chuck Liddell, Rory McDonald. Which one of these guys makes the best poutine? I kinda, I'm gonna guess it's the Canadian, but we are gonna find out, and we're gonna find out right now. Okay guys, so this is where all the magic starts. This is how we make poutine a la banquise. Here we have the sauce, but we have different types of sauce. If you wanna put more fries in for me, that way we have enough for you guys to make all your poutine. So how much should he use here? As much as I can get. Yeah. Like two more spoons like that. It makes me think big. You're good at this. In the, si in the same basket? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't uh, close your eyes. How big would you get when you were fighting for us? Like you don't have a fight for 10 weeks, how big would you get? I mean, I'm at the same, same weight I am now, just different places. It's like 290 pounds? No, 310? no, 230, 240 tops. I would definitely put, uh, I don't know, let's put my onions on this. What have you done? Don't you want him to? Yeah, Chuck, look what No, you've I don't done. like him cook, actually. Okay. okay. I like my onions raw. Can we cook the bacon, though? I'll bacon? put some bacon on there, yeah. So, I'll put some bacon you, on How it. many wieners are you gonna put on it? None. None. You like, like some wieners? You like wieners, right? Wieners are delicious. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan treat. of them now. No? Yeah, not right. your thing? Wieners, eh? You're just gonna go with a wiener joke? That's that's where you went? <laughs> you, 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 you lob it to me, I, got, I, I can't, I can't like, resist. I'm like a little kid, I can't yeah. resist. Yeah, so I'm, like, I'm like four years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. You wouldn't feed a four-year-old this? No. No. Actually, my daughter by yeah. Come on, she's free. Jeez, that looks terrifying. Holy crap, look what's going on here. You can see the freshness. Yeah. This is what's gonna, what's gonna put me into the top. You just, you have a champion's mentality, my friend. That's what I'm gonna do here. All right. Layers. We're going oh, layers. Oh, Hey, is this allowed? Is this allowed? He's gonna, he's layer, he's layering up the cheese. That is the best idea. You are so Canadian. This is amazing. He's cheating. This is amazing. He's cheating. That's cheating. It's not cheating. You guys didn't ask. Oh. What exactly is going on right here? All right. So I actually do this at home. Uh, I'll saute like meat, like with the vegetables, so they kind of you know absorb a little of the meat grease. I usually don't cook with oil. I just cook with fatty meats and then oh, use the meat. I'm kind of healthy. Yeah, yeah, this is healthy. This is, yeah, well, I'm oh, kind of healthy. You said kind of. That's a break. Yeah, yeah, all right. Kind of. You didn't add oil to the oil. Yeah, I, I use the natural oil. Not, not the meat fat is oil. not a natural oil. It is. It's a great for cooking. Chuck, is it? Meat yeah, fat, it's natural not, oil. It's not adding extra oil to the meat fat oil. That's true. No, you guys have sound logic here. What are you going with? I'm going to go with some onions, maybe some bacon here. Stay away from the raw meat. That might give you salmonella. Uh, not my stomach. It's strong. How does one train their stomach to be stronger, exactly? Eat raw meat. I don't think that's how you do it. Do you think he's ripping you off here? Uh, no, I think, he's, I think he's doing great things. That does look really I want to. I good. want to start again now. Like I want to do it like I could do better. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a, a dime's worth of advice here. Okay. You chop your bacon up a little. That's what I was thinking. Little pieces, yeah, little pieces. I gotta chop it. Oh, you chop it? Yeah. Oh, you gonna oh. chop it? And do. Chuck went pretty old school. It's just basically a fake, fake double leg overhand right. That's what you got right here. Yeah. That's what you're looking at right here. Yeah. And yeah. that, that's proven. Please put that knife down. I already put one through my hand. Remember? Oh yeah. Have you ever uh, stabbed anyone in the media? In the media? Yeah. There's a first for everything, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, you sure? Anyone want to do anything else? It's the last no, chance, good. Good. last call. I'm oh, I'm out of space, yeah. Wow, wow, that is I'm something. I've run out of room. Let's do this. All right, let's yeah. do this. All right, the, the time for talk is done. Well, having said that, I, I want to hear what they have to say here. Um, yeah, wow. I did not expect it to look this good. There's gonna be a test of uh, resilience really here for everybody. Rory, let's talk first about the look. 
Who do you think has the best looking? Boris. Yeah. yeah? I, it's the plate. It's the plate. Yeah, it's plated better. Do you think it's? <laughs> Remember, you eat with your eyes first. You know. So Forrest, by being smaller, yeah. is actually better. Yeah. You don't hear that it much. Was a, it was a good. It was a good move. Yeah, you don't hear that much. Not at all. <laughs> you hear that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Chuck, what, what about you? You agree? And you think Forrest got yeah, the best I, presentation? I, think, I mean, I think he went with a good move, getting a smaller plate. I think it. it, it Played out better. So, and you guys were mentioning Chuck's choice of onion here. Tell me, tell me what you think. Yeah, you didn't cook them. Went well, raw. I mean, for <laughs> presentation, the way they look, I, I like eating raw onions. I like yeah. raw onions better. I've never liked cooked onions. So yeah. Your wife I, prefers I, I, cooked onions. Yes, my wife does, so we get cooked onions most of the time. So, I still, uh, so I'm you don't think I'm on my own. I'm cooking myself with the raw onions. Yeah, and Forrest, you know, I, I don't know if I agree that this looks the best. I mean, it looks the most interesting. Yeah, yeah. But again, th look at the presentation no, on this right here. It's pretty good, pretty good. I like, yeah. the, I like what he's done with this bacon there. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was more the strategic guy. Do you oh, think yeah. that's gonna make a difference? Yeah, the just, layering? He thought more about food in the last like 10 minutes than I've thought about it in my <laughs> life. Like I've never cooked a meal with that kind of intensity. This is what this, what this kid does. His right. intensity. He's intensity, I like Deep focus. Yeah. Focus, yeah. that was focus. But he got any advice for this guy if he's gonna be the champion? And, and there's a very good chance he has. Any, any championship level advice well, for this guy? If it guys? doesn't work out, uh, you really are like an awesome fry cook. I'm not even sure, he really, <laughs> That's my backup. Yeah. <laughs> he cooked those things to no, death. No, go ahead and be champion. Fry cook seems that's not correct. So I'm gonna be the final decider here. All right. And Chuck has given me evil looks and stuff. So that's that's an issue for me here. Uh, he he was the light heavyweight champion of the world. He knocked out a lot of people. I'm a little intimidated, to be honest. But this is my boy here, so I'm gonna try not to be biased. But he's very nice. Yeah, he's, he's a, nice a nice guy. guy. He is yeah. a nice guy. So I'm, I'm You're not a nice guy. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm, so have you might want to keep that in mind. Have you ever hurt someone for not declaring you the victor? I'm going to hurt your feelings, you, though. I'm going to tell you that, like, you didn't have to dye your hair blue to go with your blue shirt, but you did. I did. I did. Like, you that was a choice. Hair. I know. You made that choice. Yeah, I did. You made a lot of bad choices. <laughs> I mean, I can see your tattoos. You made tons you know, of bad choices. Really, those are bad, bad choices You don't have a over. single tattoo. Chuck's got tattoos. Bad bad choice there. You have a tattoo? No. no. I'm, going, I'm going with Chuck, man. I don't even have to taste this <laughs> um, You go ahead and eat your own. Take a bite of your own first. And tell me... If you think, number one, this is awesome, and uh, you know, if you think you're gonna win with this. Or just keep eating, don't say a word, that's cool too. That's actually the best poutine I've ever had. Have you ever had poutine before, Forrest? No. But that is without a doubt the best ever. Yeah, it's also good. the worst Pretty poutine good. you've ever had. Here, try, try, get, get How's yours? This is very good. Get a little Chuck? bite in here. No, oh, right, right in that. Very good. Very good. I can't complain. Yeah. I'm sure it fits in my diet, but it's Are very you, good. You no, don't have to really diet not, anymore. Not, you don't no, fight no, now. No, not really. You know? I think I got you beat. Maybe I didn't get the, enough bacon, yeah. though. Yeah, I had a couple friends that blew up to about 260, 270, and they stopped like, wow. oh, you know, Alex Carroll X is a good buddy. Oh, buddy. yeah, yeah. 275. Oh, jeez. He got up How to 275. How much do you think this guy eats? How, uh, he, he can eat a lot, but. <laughs> So now you've stuck with your own here. These guys are sharing. Is it, well, are you just his. rude? Really like, you know, no. you just know? Oh, oh yeah. Really Whose is better, yours or his? Mine, of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, his is better. It is better. I haven't actually sampled them yet. I think I'm going to start with the one I, I think is least likely to win. Just my opinion. It's not yeah, anything yeah. personal. Little, I'm a huge yeah, Forrest Griffin yeah. fan. I just, you know. Yeah, get a little cheese cut in there, too. Oh, that's good. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> wow. Dude, your application of like the meat fat, getting that all involved in there. Oh, this is good. I was, I honestly was not expecting. Also, the sausage. Wrong. Holy. Yeah, the sausage was a nice touch. Yeah. yeah. It would have been better had it been like a fattier piece of sausage and I left it on there longer. I can't imagine it could be much better than this. All right. Wow. Oh look at that, that's real. He blew a May one there. I'm, I'm legit Canadian right there. We don't do that I'm taking away things. points for that application. <laughs> Why? <Yeah. laughs> I mean, You're in this, Quebec, is, man. this is <laughs> poutine. You have, you have fries, you have cheese. What the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> There you All right, go. well, you're. I haven't <laughs> tasted it yet, but I just completely disapprove of your application of condiments. That's not bad. The bacon. You gotta dig, though, man. You're yeah, surface yeah. eating. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Listen, the layering was a, was absolute genius. Uh, you know, they all kind of taste the same, to be honest. <laughs> they all taste the same. I can't tell much difference. This one has sausage. Yeah, that's the difference. This one has oh, the sausage. Uh -huh. So what do you think here? What, what's the key? We gotta what get a little that? bit of it. That's, that that's the, the pork from the uh, okay, pork yeah. sauce. Yeah, yeah we gotta have sauce. some of that involved. We gotta have some of that in there. And some some of the bacon regular, too. And I'm gonna have a great sauce. big onion in that. Get one of those. Because that's really what it's gonna be all about. If yours is gonna win, it's the application of the uh, onion. I'm a big sauce. I'm like a sauce junkie. Or a sauce whore, whichever yeah, you're more a sauce appropriate. Whore. You are a sauce whore. So who do you think won, Chuck? Chuck Liddell thinks Chuck Liddell won. Yeah. Um, well, I'm hoping you think I won, too. I, I, I think there's a very good chance I'm going to go that way. I, I'm, I've already asked Rory if I've offended him in the past because I, I asked him, does it offend him when I refer to him as kind of a psycho? But I think that's a good thing because <laughs> I like as a fighter, I think, you know, if you're a bit of a psycho. And he wasn't offended by that. So I think he's not going to be offended if I don't make him the winner. He's been sporting a taxi driver haircut for a while now, so he <laughs> can't be that offended. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Like, you used to have, like, you know, a little boy haircut like me, and it looked good, but you were like, I'm going to go psycho hair. <laughs> you think that's a bad choice? Everyone started doing it, so, so I had to change it up. Tattoos, bad choice. Tattoos, bad choice. This shirt, bad Ta choice. Tattoos, permanent choice. Yeah. Haircut, yeah, come right back. Hey, also, well, I, I agree I mean, with that with tattoos. With it's a permanent choice. You gotta pick. Hey, make sure you pick some. Uh, don't go and pick. Uh, I'll take number forty-eight on the wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah <that's laughs> feel like right a, feel like a really. Forty-eight. Yeah. yeah. That's right. forty-eight right there. Yeah. No, good. Yeah. No, yeah. Good bad, job. Bad good choice. pick. Yeah. Good pick. I know. All right. Uh, I guess we gotta pick a winner here. You pretty happy just eating? Yeah, I don't care if I lose. Okay, fine. Chuck Liddell's the winner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Liddell. Woo! Yeah. Chuck Liddell makes the best poutine. You all right with that for us? Uh, Subjective, right? I, I think, honestly, I think it's pretty close between me and Roy. <laughs> I agree. Well, you left it in the hands of the judges. I'm sorry. Roy's got pretty good poutine he over does. here. I, I like the layering thing because yeah. I'm finding cheese at the bottom. <laughs> right. And that cheese got really melted uh, by the hot fries. Well, I've already stuck with my decision. And well, I mean, hey, I don't want it's made. To I don't want one of the two light heavyweight champions the at this UFC table to kill me. The judges don't always get it right. Why should you get it right? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Why should we try and get it right now? <laughs> exactly. I judged him to be the winner because I felt like my life was yeah, on the line. Yeah, so it's was, it was probably a good, good call. call. I tell you what, though. When Thank it's all you. said and done, who ate the most of theirs? Who ate the most of theirs? Yours was the smallest, first of all. It, it wasn't really that small. <laughs> I, was I didn't talk much, I was just eating. <laughs> you don't talk all that much to begin with. No, I don't. <laughs> so, we've come to that conclusion. Chuck is uh, the best. Chuck Liddell is the champion of Canadian poutine. Montrealian poutine. Bullied my way into another win. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bullied his way into another win. Great. Well, I guess that's it. This has been a lot of fun, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's, it's tasted pretty good, too. Yeah. More important, I don't know how fun it was, but it was, yeah. it was delicious. You, did you not have fun? Well, script. I don't know how like people watching this. I don't know if they had fun. Oh, they won't have fun at all. Yeah, no, but, but the food was good. Had you been here, it would have been much better. Right.